All right, guys, quick tutorial on how to create PDF files for our reports, etc., uh, that don't have to be scanned in and, and look kind of crappy and, and rather uh, are nice and clean like this one here. So this was uh, my monthly report. Uh, everything scanned to a PDF, and then instead of it, it scanning into the system and just, you know, not looking very good, it's nice and clean. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through a couple pieces of uh, software and uh, be able to give you access where you can you can do these nice clean PDFs. So that's uh, the end result uh, of my monthly report. And so uh, we're gonna download a software to start with called PDF Sam Visual. So you go to pdfsam.org uh, right up here. And then if you'll just scroll down, once you pull up pdfsam.org and you wanna go to PDF Sam Visual, this one right here. You just click on the PDF uh, download link right there. Um, it'll give you one of two options here, either 64-bit or 32. Mine's a 64. So just uh, click on whichever one you think yours is. And when you go to install it, if it doesn't work, then do the other one. But mine is the 64-bit. And so it'll download here. Once it finishes uh, downloading, you just click on it to be able to install the program. It has a two-week trial for free. And after that, it is about $31. It's $29 uh, or 21, 29 euros, which is about $31. And uh, it is very easy and simple and works fantastic. So I'll let this finish downloading. And most of you probably know how to install a program. But just in case, I'll walk through at least the beginning steps of that. And we're almost done. All right, so once it finishes downloading, click on it. I hit run, and it'll go through this whole thing. You just keep hitting next until you get to the one that says finish, and then it will be installed, which will be perfect. Okay, so I've already got it installed. So I'm just going to cancel out of that. Okay, so the other uh, thing that you want to do is, you know, whenever you're using a spreadsheet or something like that, instead of printing it, um, you're just going to come up when you're done with your spreadsheet and you're going to go to save as and you're going to change your save type to a PDF and then uh, just save however you want to name it as a PDF and so I've got a whole folder of things right here that I saved for my monthly report and so the box score I downloaded into this same folder um, my monthly property report Excel I saved as a PDF uh, leasing activity report uh, downloaded from Entrada uh, as a PDF. Just put everything all in one folder. makes it easy for me to access. And then once I have everything uh, saved or downloaded as a PDF, then I can open up PDF Sam, which I've saved as an icon on my taskbar, uh, which you can do as well. I think it automatically adds a desktop icon here. And then uh, you can either drag and drop the files or you can click the choose PDF um, files and so um, I'll go that route and so I just need to find uh, my file here under my monthly reports I just created a 2017 PDFs and then by month is how I'm doing it and so then I've got all of my uh, pieces here and so I'm just gonna click and then if you hold uh, shift you can select all of them uh, this is the actual final product so I'm gonna deselect that one if you use the control button while you're clicking you can not select certain ones so those are all the ones that I want to include I hit open and then it adds them all into this file here and then I can order them however I want to order them so you'll see here this one says one of box score and then two of box score here at the top and so that's the box score report and there's the three of box score and then it starts on the one of lease activity two of lease activity um, I know that the first one that I want to have at the top is my monthly report Excel spreadsheet let me see if I can find that here there it is at the very bottom and so all I have to do to reorder it is click on it and drag it up to the top which is really cool and 
just put it right here where I want it. And then if I have a, a page, I don't know if you've ever done this, but you have scanned a page and it ended up with a blank or something like that and you want to get rid of one, <clears throat> you can just click on this little X right here and it'll get rid of uh, a whole page out of there. Uh, you can reorder any of these in whatever order you want to. So I've got the monthly uh, spreadsheet report here at the, at the beginning, uh, box score, um, leasing activity. Uh, I'll get rid of the second page just for the sake of doing it. Um, I made some notes on this PDF here and some highlights to explain some things. Um, I'm going to get rid of this one here. And then I've got my, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, the comparables uh, report or the market report. Uh, is in here now and so it that's takes up the, the bulk of the report um, here and so that's all finished up I've got them all ordered the way that I want to and I just hit combine pages um, at the end it'll say your task is processing please wait and then once it finishes it will tell you that it's finished and then if you click on show result uh, it will take you to the folder where it's putting it and then you can change that right here if you want to change where it ends up putting it. Um, I think mine puts it in the scan folder automatically. So I'm going to click on show result and yeah, it puts it in the scan folder. And then it automatically names it uh, something about combining, uh, combine reorder right here. <clears throat> and so uh, I just know that's the one that I just combined and so I changed the name of it. Uh, just by clicking on it twice slowly gives you the option to change the name of it to whatever test report and uh, there it is test report and then I can you know drag and drop that to whatever folder I need it to or attach it to an email and that's how it works and so if I open this up now uh, there's the report with the Excel at the beginning box score next and leasing activity report and then the uh, comparable report here. So there you go.